Happy Tuesday, everyone. My name is Holland, and as you might have guessed, I'm back again with another Tuesday tip. And this week, what I want to talk about is the difference between Cellbrite and Cellbrite for Shopify. So, for those of you who aren't aware, we have two configurations of Cellbrite. We have the kind of classic, traditional Cellbrite that has always been. This is the original product. And then we also have a configuration called Cellbrite for Shopify. So, in recent years, we developed this to really cater to Shopify users and people who have you know, a big presence with their Shopify store. So if you don't sell on Shopify, don't plan on selling on Shopify, this video is probably not for you and you can go ahead and skip it. Uh, but for everyone else, we're gonna kind of just get straight into the key differences. So what, what is the right sell right for me? Do I wanna go with classic? Do I wanna go with sell right for Shopify? We're gonna get into it. So sell right. One of the big differences is your inventory management, your product data, all that kind of stuff is going to be managed in Cellbrite. So if you're adding new products, if you are updating existing products, whether that's just like a title, description, images, things like that, you're probably gonna wanna do that in Cellbrite. There's a few different ways you can do it, but Cellbrite is your hub. It is your, it is your master, it is your source of truth, as we tend to call it. So a lot of this stuff gets done in Cellbrite. You wanna update your inventory quantities in Cellbrite, your images, all that stuff done here. With Cellbrite for Shopify, however, this is done directly in Shopify. So same kind of thing, images, descriptions, titles, all of your basic product data, you update in Shopify. Your quantities, you update in Shopify. When you do that, those updates actually get automatically sent over to Cellbrite. So for instance, I'm looking at this product right here and my product is missing a description, so I should probably go ahead and add one. Any other changes that I make here, Cellbrite is gonna pick up those changes. So the product catalog in Cellbrite still exists, but it's just basically pulling in information that comes in from Shopify and we'll be constantly pulling that in. So like I said before, you don't have to do anything else besides make the updates that you need to make. Cellbrite's gonna grab that for you, so not a problem. Now, what I'll also show you here is when I'm actually in a Cellbrite for Shopify account and I'm looking here at one of my products, I can actually still see you know, all my product information. I can see my inventory right here, but you'll see that I have a Shopify warehouse location. It'll show me my available quantity, but I can't actually make changes to that because we're just grabbing those changes from Shopify. So. That's one of the big key distinctions to make is kind of where you do your work. Cellbrite is your hub if you're using Cellbrite. Shopify is your hub if you're using Cellbrite for Shopify. The next big difference is your orders. So anytime that you have marketplace orders being imported into Cellbrite, if you're using Cellbrite, all of those orders stay in Cellbrite system. They can be managed from Cellbrite. They can be fulfilled from Cellbrite. If you're using Cellbrite for Shopify, however, all of your marketplace orders, they'll still be imported into Cellbrite, but then Cellbrite is just gonna route those back to Shopify for you. So that way you can continue fulfilling orders pretty much the way that you always have. So if you have a system that you like, if there's a, a shipping application that you have connected to your Shopify store that you wanna continue using, you want it to be business as usual, you can stick with that. So another big difference there, right? Orders get routed to Shopify if you're using Cellbrite for Shopify. If you're using Cellbrite, your orders stay in Cellbrite. Now, when it comes to Shopify itself, if you're using Cellbrite, you can publish uh, listings to Shopify. Uh, you can uh, pretty much treat Shopify as if it was any one of your other sales channels. Whereas if you're actually using Cellbrite for Shopify, you won't even really see Shopify as a channel. When you click on listings, you're not going to see Shopify show up. Uh, you're not going to see it basically act as a connected sales channel because even though it's connected, it's kind of just funneling information in the back end. So you're not going to be pushing data to Shopify. Shopify is going to be pushing data to Cellbrite. So I just want to make that clear. Those are the big key differences. So the last one I want to cover is, of course, pricing. And this is going to be important to the decision that you make, right? So pricing not a huge difference, but both, both configurations of Cellbrite offer a free plan. If you were to move into a paid plan like the Pro 100, 
Sellbrite's gonna run you 29 bucks a month. Sellbrite for Shopify is gonna run you 19 bucks a month. So a little bit cheaper, uh, but just wanna make you aware of the pricing as well. So these are all the things that you're gonna wanna consider. Uh, another piece of information that is also important. If you have multiple Shopify stores, you won't be able to use Sellbrite for Shopify. Sellbrite for Shopify is currently just a one-to-one. -one, one Sellbrite account to one Shopify account. You cannot link multiple. So if you're someone who has more than one Shopify store and you wanna link them all to Sellbrite, you're gonna to wanna to stick with Sellbrite, not Sellbrite for Shopify. So like I said, these are all kind of the main key differences when it comes to third-party apps and all that kind of stuff. You're also gonna be looking at a few differences as well. Those are a little bit more nitty gritty, but for the most part, if you're using Sellbrite for Shopify, you wanna keep those apps connected to Shopify and not Sellbrite. So, I hope this was helpful. I hope that if you weren't sure which version to go with, that you now know. And if you still have any additional questions about the difference between these two configurations, give us a shout at support at sellbrite.com. And we will of course be happy to help you out and answer any other questions that you have. Thanks.